I think this case really could go either way. There are some holes in the prosecution's case, and, and, and I think, you know, both sides here uh, are, are going to have a shot at a victory. Is that the jury needs to believe Michael Cohen in order to convict. And I am, I'm confident that the defense is going to stand up there and say that. They're saying, if you don't believe him, and here's all the reasons you shouldn't believe him, you cannot convict beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah, I mean, they're going to stand up and say, listen, is is Michael Cohen a perfect witness? No. Did we choose him as a witness? No. Mr. Trump cho chose him as a witness because that's the kind of guy he is. He's an insider. We we don't pick these inside witnesses. We, we go with what we have. And you know that the story he's telling is truthful because all of these things, these are all of, there's all of these sort of other little details that support what he is saying, and they're going to point to those sort of little bits of corroborating evidence that go around sort of the edges of Michael Cohen's story to prop up his testimony. And then they're going to ask the jury to believe what Michael Cohen said about this incident. And I think we're going to see, you know, pretty extended deliberations. It's hard to see this as a case where you have, a, you know, the jury starts deliberating at 10 and they're back you know, right, right before lunch. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. I think that there's going to be some extended deliberations in this case and um, everyone's going to be holding their breath. Yeah, I, I think it would be very unlikely that you'd see convictions on some counts and convictions not on other counts here. It's, they're gonna, it's either going to be guilty down the line, all the counts, or not guilty down the line. Or, or which is a distinct possibility, a hung, a hung jury. It's a real issue if there's not a clear verdict. It is not uncommon in criminal cases to have some sort of mistrial or hung jury. Um, we didn't we didn't get to, and I just that is a distinct possibility here, right? That the 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 defense team manages to capture the um, attention and opinion of a few of the jurors, but not all of them, and they simply can't come to agreement. And so in that case, if they really, you know, even with some prodding from the judge, can't get to a verdict, there's a hung jury, you have a mistrial, and then the prosecution team has to decide whether they do this all over again. Um, and, and it's really unclear to me whether they would do Whatever happens here, Trump's team is going to discount the outcome. If he's convicted, they're going to say this was a sham. I mean, a victory, but if he has a victory, he's still going to, you know, obviously uh, denounce the whole process as, as, a, as a witch hunt against him. So I, I think you, either way the case comes out, frankly, the, the former president will use the case to bolster um, his, his campaign and his future.